So Tottenham Hotspur are set to take on Dynamo Zagreb this Thursday, tomorrow night, live at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the first leg of our round of 16 tie in what is an absolutely massive, massive, massive game. Huge game for Zagreb. This is what it all comes down to for them. This is their season, as I say. And an even bigger game for Tottenham Hotspur. It's a must win for us to say first leg. We do take them on tomorrow at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Now, you know, obviously the fixtures did have to be changed. Now, my thoughts on this, I think it's the best move for Tottenham. Now, a lot of people saying you want to play your home leg second and your away leg first. In my opinion, with no fans in the stage and playing your home leg first is perfect because you can score a couple goals. Then in the second leg, the away goals effect, once again, you know, it does come into effect and that is what can win you this tie to say two-legged affair and by no means this is going to be as easy as um as Wolfsburger. Obviously, Dynamo Zagreb, top of the Croatian league table right now. I believe they won it last year. So they are champions and they're a very, very good side. Don't get me wrong, you know, they were renowned for their young, young players, obviously bringing through the likes of Luka Modric, Perisic, you know, some big, big, big players that went on to be fantastic stars of the Premier League and other um, other competitions. The likes of, as I say, Luka Modric came to Tottenham Hotspur. This is the club that we did get modders from. And, you know, when we actually tied to grab, a lot of people were celebrating like we'd already won the tie. Listen, this game is not going to be easy, right? Nowhere near as, uh, as easy as Wolfsburger. We are going to have to play tactically in this one, I think. And as I say, it's going to be a very, very tough game. So we'll get into the predicted lineup right now, right? Obviously, for Tottenham Hotspur, there are two games coming up. Two games, one on Thursday and one on Sunday. So Greb on Thursday, Arsenal on Sunday. And people ask me, who should we rest, basically? Should we rest players more so in this game or the Arsenal game? Now, obviously, for me... As a fan, and for most fans, the North London derby means absolutely everything. But you have to look at it from a standpoint as this game is actually bigger. Obviously, we are relying on the Europa League for the rest of our season. You know, it's a thing that can save our season a huge, huge trophy. And as I say, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be an easy affair. It's not going to be an easy game. But I do think with the quality we have up top, we can beat them. But as I say, if we're going to rest any players of any of these two games, it would have to be Arsenal, as much as I hate it, because this game's exactly the same. And I'm sure Arsenal are feeling exactly the same about it as well. Obviously, they've got a very, very tough tie. They have to travel all the way to Greece to take on Olympiakos. And that's a massive, massive advantage, obviously, for the North London derby, because you have to look at it as that game is on Sunday. Sunday, 4.30, right? We are staying right in London, right here, going absolutely nowhere. They have to go all the way to Greece, flights and everything, back and forth, obviously. And, you know, it's going to be a lot of travelling for them. And if anyone's heading into the North London Derby with a bit of fatigue, it will be Arsenal, as I say. And this game's not going to be easy. So without further ado, let's get on to the predicted lineup. Starting things off, in goal, you have either Joe Hart or Hugo. Now, my thought process on this is I know Hugo as a goalkeeper, you know, you don't really need a rest. And it's getting to the latter stages of the competition where we cannot afford mistakes. So, in my opinion, we start Hugo Lloris in this game. Joe Hart shouldn't start. I don't think you start him in this game. And the North London derby end of Hugo and goal. As of the left-back position, for me, it would have to be Ben Davies, right? And I look at this one from a standpoint as Jose believes Davies is just as good as the player is regular on. I personally don't, but he plays him just as much as he does regular on. Now, for me... Regulon is the better of the two. When it comes to the North London Derby, you need someone to be pacey. You need someone to whip in crosses. You need some to, someone to go from zone 13 to 17 from a tactical standpoint. You need someone to do these crossovers and everything. And Regulon's the perfect guy. When when you want to be defensively strong and you play a left-back in that position, not to press high, but to sit back, Ben Davies is your man. So Davies starts at left-back for me as of our, um, of our right-back position. I think it would have to be Matt Doherty. I think you save Aurier for the weekend. We all saw some of the fantastic tackles he put in in the first North London derby. So, in my opinion, you save him for the weekend. And as our centre-half partnership, Toby does need a rest. So does Sanchez. So, personally, I would go with Dyer and Rodon. I think Dyer, honestly, I think he may have learned his lesson. You know, he could uh, come back into the team, bottle it again. And for me, that's Eric Dyer's career over at Tottenham Hotspur. Or we could come back into the team after missing about five games and actually be the star of the show. So for me, you know, you need someone to command it. And I think Eric Dyer's the man. I think we should play Eric Dyer in this game, as I say. Eric Dyer starts for me uh, next to him. Well, to be fair, we can't play Joe Rodon. So I'll change that. 
Obviously, Jose would normally play Tanganga at right back, so I don't see him playing him as a centre half. It was if it was my team, I would play uh, Tanganga at that other centre half position. But this is my prediction on what Jose is going to choose. So for me, I think he's going to choose Dyer and oh, it's a tough one. You know what? He could choose Sanchez, and then you play basically either Dyer or Toby or Sanchez and Toby on the weekend. One of the two centre half partnerships. So I think it should be Sanchez and um, Sanchez and Dyer. And here's the issue with not picking Rodon, because obviously Jose Mourinho wanted to pick the players that got him to it. I think, okay, fair enough, but at the same time, you know, wait till you get to those latter stages of the competition where we've got two, two big games coming up, as I say, and in one of these games, we need to rest some of our players. You know, you can't play Sanchez and Toby for both games in a row. Obviously, one of them will probably get injured. So for me, you start Dyer and... I really don't know. I think Jose's going to start Dyer and Sanchez. You know, I could be on this one all day because I honestly don't have a clue. Moving up to midfield for me, rest Hoybia. You definitely, without a doubt, rest Hoybia. Rested Hoybia is a top tier Hoybia. We've seen it before. The guys played way too many games in a row this season. He needs a rest. For me, Sissoko is the perfect person to hold up that midfield. He had a fantastic performance against Wolfsburger. Sissoko, for me, as our attacking midfielders, it would have to be Delhi, Ali, and. You know what? I'll go with Delhi Ali and Tango and Dombele, right? Because I think Tango and Dombele will probably come off in the 60th minute once we get the job done in the first leg, if you ask me. Or if we get the job done, we'll have to find out tomorrow. So for me, Sissoko, Ali and Dombele is the perfect because you've got an attacking mix up there. Someone who can really hold up that midfield, you know, keep the um keep the midfield line very, very close to the defensive line. And sometimes transition into a uh, into a third centre half, make it a five at the back here and there. I've seen Sissoko did it. He did it in the last North London derby. And for me... Jose won't pick him in the North London derby, so I think you play him here. So, for me, Sissoko, Ali, obviously, technique on the ball. Don't think Jose will pick him on Sunday. He's got skill and obviously has a point to prove. So, Ali starts for me, as I say, and Ndombele needs to start in this game. You still need that star power. You still need that quality. And Ndombele is that for me. Moving up to our left wing position. You know, I've sat and thought about this one. And for me, it has to be... Look, we tend to play Sonny in some of these games. Obviously, Jose values Kane a little more. But for me, in that left-wing position, you play Bergwijn. I think up top, you play Vinicius. And I think on the right wing, I think you play Lucas Moore on the right wing, right? I think you give him a shift in the right wing. You sub him off. As I say, same with the rest. If we can get the job done or get one or two goals, I think you sub him off. I think we still need Vinicius up there. Perfect, perfect man to head the ball into the back of the net. And Bergwijn for me needs to start in this game. Nevertheless, this has been the preview, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the like button if you haven't already. And as always, come on, you lily whites.